and with uh, ID TechX Show. And hi. Hi, uh, my name is Lotte Willems. Uh, I'm a business uh, development manager at Holst Center. And um, I'm going to show you uh, a few things uh, that we have developed uh, today. Uh, so we are a research institute and I'm going to show you uh, some different examples. So first of all, we have uh, laminated flexible electronics into glass. So this is just an, a near field chip, but it's quite interesting that we were able to uh, integrate uh, such thick elements into the into How glass. How do you put it into the glass? So it's laminated as you can see from the side, so we print it on a flexible PVB material and then uh, we laminate it. Alright, and uh, what is this one? So this one, I like it a lot, this is a transparent uh, capacitive touch with integrated LED also in glass. So, uh, is this unique, very special? The yeah, this is pretty this? special. This is uh, the first year that we show this at uh, ID Tech Hex. So uh, this is uh, for us, uh, yeah. Uh, so it looks cool, but it could be like uh, industrial designers probably love your company, right? They love Hall Center to see what's potentially possible to design in the future. Yes, definitely, definitely. Because if you design something that looks like that, um, you could have a killer kind of product. Yeah, so for example, people uh, came to us today and they talk about using this in uh, buses so that in the glass of the bus you can integrate the signaling that you, uh, yeah, the, like the bus number and things like that. All right. And um, what is this? So this is a flexible LED display and um, the circuit for it is all screen printed and it's flexible so we can move it in any direction. And we are actually also looking at using smaller LEDs and we are also discussing for the future to use even move to micro LEDs. So, um, yeah, so a lot more brightness. this is a pick and place of the LEDs? This is still pick and place, but we're looking for the future to do mass transfer with a laser induced uh, forward transfer. So, all this stuff that you show here is like cutting edge, right? Yeah, um, definitely. Health Center is all about doing cutting edge future stuff, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we are really developing a lot of new technologies and uh, look uh, together with partners um, yeah, how we can implement those. Uh, what is this? What you see here, the large blue field, is actually a very large pressure sensor. And you can see here the signal. And uh, these are all different sensing uh, nodes, as you can see. Yeah. And it's pretty nice because it's completely printed. So, um, yeah, this is already pretty big, but you can make it even bigger. So that's huge. Yeah, it's really nice. So you can either use it in a bed um, to uh, detect how a, person, uh, how a person is laying, or you can also use it, for example, in a car seat to detect also the posture. To detect how big the person is or not really? N uh, no, it's a pressure gradient. So you can see uh, the motion, but we can also make it in a higher resolution, so having many more measurement points close to each other. In theory, it could be for like weight measurement. Yeah. Could, uh, uh, how about, uh, what is this? This is actually a headband that we made uh, together with Nirax. It's now commercially available. So this is one of the products that we worked on together. It's a prototype. And as you can see here, there is uh, all these uh, uh, diodes and they uh, actually um, generate um, uh, infrared light. And if you wear this, you can uh, use different uh, programs and um, yeah, the infrared light will go into your uh, forehead and then you'll be more relaxed. So it's to reduce stress. Infrared in your head for the infrared. In this commercial. And it's commercial. You can buy it. So does is it scientifically proven that they didn't yeah, work? Actually, it's uh, from a startup from MIT originally. So they found out that infrared uh, light is actually reducing stress and that's afterwards they came to us to work together on this prototype, which is now commercially available. It's not like frying your brain and then you become calm. That's not what's no, happening. No, 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 no. I hope not. <laughs> All right, yeah. cool. What's happening here? So uh, we also have a 3D printer. So this is all 3D printed electronics. And uh, so the nice thing is that you, uh, this is all done within one system. So we start with creating the cavities, then we place these components, create the grooves here, and then we dispense the, the tracks into it, and then we can close it up. So you start with a digital design, and you end up with a fully uh, integrated uh, chip, which is also even watertight. So you can throw this in the water, and it will still function. 
So the benefit of this is that in 3D you can really miniaturize your um, electronics. So people are looking into that, for example, for electronics in earpods, because they have to be very, very small. So that's why they are looking into uh, use ca yeah, using uh, 3D printed electronics. Those, uh, those TWS uh, Bluetooth ear, ear, earphone yes, things. Yes, for example. Yeah, those but, very uh, small earpods. How much of a whole center is awesome future kind of prototypes and how much becomes very big mass market? Ooh, um, I would say that most of it is very fancy future prototypes. And then, then the partners uh, can bring it to market more or less fast. How, how do you get all this cool stuff sooner into the mass market? Uh, yeah, so that's by collaborating with us and collaborating uh, because we have many partners throughout the value chain. So we are in contact with the mass manufacturers as well as the material suppliers, as well as the end users. So by yeah, working uh, with us, we are able to bring all these partners together and to bring those uh, products to market. This one I saw it at another booth, right? What is this? Yeah, so this is actually a health patch. So this is a health patch with a uh, five electrodes. So this can measure ECG and it also can measure uh, SpO2. And you can wear it for five to 10 days on your body. So it's, uh, it's powered and um, it's wireless uh, transmitting the signal. So it's using Bluetooth. And you can even, you can do sports with it. You can shower with it. And you can use it, for example, um, to monitor your, uh, yeah, your vital signs at home after you come home uh, in, from, a, for example, a procedure in a hospital. Is that mass produced? Is it um, the market or not yet? Also, this is not yet on the market, but uh, Philips is looking into it. So we right. work Philips together. is not far from the whole center, maybe. He is a part. They, they are a partner of the partner. whole center. Yeah. Right. Also. And just behind on the screen, I was uh, seeing something about. Uh, they look like free uh, self-driving cars, or do you do you have yeah. stuff going on with that? Yeah. So actually, the pressure mat that you see here, if we uh, we can, this is pressure that I showed, but we also have. Um, Piezo, um, piezo uh, material. And so what does that do? What it is does, the vibration? It, it, yeah, it generates a, a voltage as, a, as I move it. And you see that it's very soft and flexible. And if you put this in a, in a chair and you sit on it, it can actually measure your heartbeat and your, uh, your heartbeat uh, variability. So what we want to do, what you see here, it's very small, but we want to make this at the same scale as this. And if you do that, we want to have that every measurement point not only measures pressure, as we showed today, but also measures uh, piezo. And uh, we can even implement as well a temperature uh, sensor there. So what's the process for you to get something small like this to, to big? So actually, it took us quite a bit to uh, make it small like this, because this is uh, made on a TPU and it's very flexible. So we had to do a lot of process development to make it so soft. And uh, now, we, now we know how to do this. We can uh, yeah, scale it up and do it bigger because we have the facilities in-house to, uh, to do that. So how is it for you, the ID Tech X show? Oh, it, um, it? actually, it's my first uh, ID Tech X show. And um, I think it's a, it's a great success. We met so many uh, interesting uh, parties. And lots of people looking at all your cool demos, right? Yes, lots of people looking and um, it's, uh, it's very nice to hear what they're looking for and how we can together um, make sure that uh, printed electronics uh, yeah, make the, the way to market faster. What is this? What you see here is a, a temperature sensor array. So what we do is we take the traditional uh, material that is used for NTCs and uh, we make it into a composite and the, co with the composite we print and as you can see we can make a very large temperature array. Nice and uh, that one is it similar to the other pick and place LED machine you showed before? No so this, this is uh, what we call in-mold electronics so this is made starting with a single substrate which is flat and then we add the graphical layer we add all the electrical layers and afterwards we thermoform it to shape it. So we heat it up to shape it into this 3D form. And then here now on the sides you have a hum in human machine interface. So these are capacitive sliders and here there is a capacitive touch function. All right, that's cool. What's happening with that one? This is 3D printed. So what the cool thing is about it that is 3D printed is that there's no wires, but we integrate it like conductive lines 
we printed conductive lines into the structure and yeah you can make it uh, in any shape you have complete freedom to design it in any form nice cool it's uh it's it's always you're always very close to being the coolest booth at the show right Don't nice it's good have to hear have you been around have you been around yes i've been around because yeah. um, this is all like uh, attention grabbing stuff right it's like uh, yeah that's the idea special yeah and uh, it looks cool like it should inspire this people one right here yeah it's Lightus. beautiful huh? what's yeah. the status on, on that one so we have a proto line um uh, we have a proto line where you can uh, yeah basically yeah. order flexible oled products flexible oled yes manufacturing yes for flexible OLED manufacturing. more than ma prototyping just prototyping it is a it's a really a prototype line so it's not a mass manufacturing line all right uh, but you have all the expertise huh? how to to turn prototyping into mass manufacturing it's a, it's one of the big challenges yeah that's correct yeah 